In this video, I'm going to show you how to bring your app ideas to life using Lovable, an AI-powered no-code platform. We'll be creating a simple but smart issue reporting app for renters where users can upload images, add details, and generate a clean downloadable PDF report, ready to be sent to the real estate agents. But before we start, let's understand the problem you're trying to solve. First things first, open up your browser and go to Lovable's site. Once you're there, hit the Get Started or Sign Up button. It's free to start, and no, it isn't sponsored. You'll need to enter your email address and create a password. And after that, just check your inbox. Lovable will send you a verification email. Just click the link in the email and you're in. You should be automatically logged into your dashboard. And if you're following along, go ahead and pause the video and get that part done. I'll be right here when you come back. We're just getting started and trust me, it's gonna get pretty exciting from here. Head over to ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT to give you a structured prompt for Lovable. I want you to give me a prompt for Lovable to create an app. It will be a web app for renters to report issues in their rental properties. The app should have clean, mobile-friendly interface and allow users to upload a photo of the issue, Select the category of the issue from a drop-down, example, plumbing, walls, flooring, paint, etc. Enter optional comments describing the problem. Automatically capture the current date and time of the report. After submission, the app should generate a summary report preview with date and time. Uploaded image, selected category, user comments. Include a downloaded um, include a download as PDF button that lets user export the report. The PDF should have neatly, should be neatly formatted. You know, a title, the image, the category, comments, timestamp. Style the app with a simple clean UI using a soft blue gray color scheme and label all fields clearly. Assume no login is required for now. And here you see that um, the prompt is being generated. It's quite structured. It's giving some extra instructions as well, which is good. It's talking about the features that we want in the report and the design guidelines. Now let's get on to the Lovable dashboard. I'm going to copy the prompt here and just do a little bit of formatting. So while I'm formatting the prompt here in Lovable, I want to quickly show you another helpful resource on prompt engineering. It breaks down different levels of prompting and how to give clear, effective instructions when working with AI. It also busts a common myth, especially in the no-code world, that you can just type in a vague request and expect magic. Well, the truth is the clearer your guidance, the better the outcome. So when you have time, have a lead, and I'm sure your prompting will get better. Once you have copied all your prompt and done the formatting, just hit enter and Lovable will get to work. On the left hand side, it will keep updating you on the steps it's basically performing. It's talking about the design vision, it's talking about the topography, the layout it's really putting in and the animations based on the instructions that you have given. It's talking about the features as well that it's implementing, which is the photo upload, category selection, the comment section for every issue that you're going to submit, the timestamp, as well as the report generation, which is key, right? So once the report is created, the renter can actually send an email to the estate agent or to the landlord with that report without really spending too much time creating emails or writing emails or even sending, you know, calling them. Once Lovable creates the initial version, it gives you a helpful what's next guide on the left. Here's what it suggests. Refine and customize, you can tweak the design, animation and layouts just by updating your prompts. It also talks about the chat mode as well as syncing your project on GitHub. So the application is starting to take shape, which is exciting. Before we dive into testing, let's hook it up to the backend. We'll be using Superbase here. It's automatically going to connect from here, which is where our apps database will live. So let's get that connected and make sure that everything is in place. If you don't have an account already, create an account. I have two accounts, so I'm just gonna connect with the other one. 
All right, now it's connecting to the database. This usually takes a few seconds. What is happening here is we are setting up the connection between the app and where all the data, like the photo, reports, timestamps, and comments will actually live. So once this is done, we'll be ready to test how it all flows. Well, it's definitely taking more than a few seconds. All right. Okay, it's done now. And it is connected. First reveal is not bad at all. Uh, let's try it. Okay, so I'm on the issue form. I'm going to select some issues here. We definitely have some damaged roof, so I'll pick that up. Right, so the picture has loaded up properly. Okay, in the categories, I couldn't see anything for the ceiling or the roof. I might want to add that later. I'll just add some comments here. So what can I really say? So the roof is damaged at the front, maybe. And let's submit the report and see if it's going to generate something. All right, so it has generated on the screen, which is the timestamp, the date and the time. And it also has a button for downloading the PDF, which is good. Right, so you know, it's pretty simple. I mean, there's no, nothing complexity in here. Right. Definitely we need to improve a few more things here. So I'm going to enhance my application and add in the prompt. What do I really want to enhance? So definitely I want to be able to submit more than one issue because right now it is only allowing me to do one issue apparently, which is understandable. It was not a very extensive prompt anyways. So we have to keep adding and iterate to make it better, right? So I will add a few more enhancements here. So definitely we want the application to support multiple issues. And we want... Um, you know, we want the report should also capture all the issues, right? Each of these issues that we capture in our rental property, we want to be able to upload the image. Select the category as well as um, add comments. And because we might want to generate reports at different days, so we definitely want the date and the time in there. So I'm giving specific instructions here to how do we really do the workflow. Now, it's not going to be perfect, right? So remember that. But what, what we are trying to do here is we are making sure that we are giving specific instructions. And yes, we want the report to display the category as well. And the images in that. For anyone who's worked in software development, you'll know there's usually a process. Agile methodology, design sprints, prototyping cycles, it all takes time. But here we are bypassing a lot of that upfront work and dropping our ideas straight into the canvas. It's fast, visual, and honestly, really empowering. What we are doing here is getting to an MVP stage without waiting weeks. So it helps you see your idea, test it early, and get it quick feedback. That's the essence of lean validation. Now I want to enhance the app a little bit more. And what I want to do is I want to add a field for the address because right now there is no address of the rental property. And I do want that the final PDF should um, definitely mention that address. It should support multiple issues. And as we have uh, described earlier, which is that each issue should include uploaded image, the category, the comments, as well as the timestamp. So even though it may feel a little bit of a repeat because I have not trained this um, application yet with my previous prompting, 
Therefore, it's important I just repeat the design structures so it remembers my preference. The UI notes at the bottom also helps. We can make it more extensive, but for now, we're just going to keep it simple. Anyone who has worked in the design for software development, they understand and their terminologies will be a bit more enhanced than this. And that's it. I'm just going to give that prompt in. All right. So as it's saying, it's going to enhance those features as I have asked. Let's see how it goes. Now it's going to update the application to allow multiple entries on the same page. And I can see that it has added the button on the right hand side. It's not well placed, but that's okay for now. And now on the left, it's actually updating the report structure as well. So it can have all the entries. All right. So it looks like it's done. And this is the report. And you can see that the address has been updated up there on the top. Right. So when I ran the report, as you can see on the screen on the right, it was only showing me issue number one. And what I want to do is if I add multiple issues, it should show me all the issues in the report. That's why I'm actually enhancing the application and rectifying the problem that I'm facing. I don't know why Lovable has uh, populated my previous prompt again, even though I've given a new prompt. Well, it looks like it's a little buggy on that end, but that's, I mean, it's no big deal. So don't get confused <laughs> why it's showing up there. Now let's go through the report that has been generated because I want to make sure that all my issues are listed up here. So that's the downloaded PDF document. I can see three pages populated on the left. So that's great. So it has fixed that. I can see formatting is a little bit off. As you can see that the field is being cut in the, you know, when you're scrolling. But otherwise, um, it looks fine. Right. Now that it's so easy to keep prompting, let's just add uh, user authentication as well. Because we do want the app to be used by people who have either logged in and because the data can also be secured by doing that. So we will add that. Looks like it's working. It's actually implementing that um, important feature. All right, looks like it's still working. Wow, beautiful. So now we have our own very own login screen for our app. I guess we just need to try it out. So let me just put some random name, an email address and um, Make sure that we can sign up. So account is created. I'll get the authentication over email. Verification, I'll go ahead and verify. Now that I have logged in, as you can see, my login is on the top. 
Okay, let's uh, test this out properly. We'll start by adding an address. I'm just going to put Pitt Street. It's a popular street in Sydney. And so I'm going to pick up the issues. So I have three issues. I've put three images in my drive. One is for the roof, the door, and the paint. I'll just pick one from here. The category is other, and I'll put on put in some comments. All right, let's pick the second one. Yeah, I've just picked up some random images. In future, when I going to enhance the application, I want to be able to take images or pictures um, in real time. I think that's going to work better. And also test it out on, on your mobile. Okay, the third issue, which is basically paint coming off in the room. I'm going to add some comments here. All right, so we've generated the report. Let's go and download it. And just to make sure that we have all the three issues listed in the report, I'll open that up now. All right, that's great. So what it has done is it has basically listed all the three issues, which is great. I can see that the formatting is a bit off but we can definitely improve on that. All right. So in order to check how your application will look like in different form, whether it's an iPad or a mobile, you can toggle it up here. It kind of gives you a little bit of a context. Before I sign off, I want to take a moment to speak to those of you who've tried tools like Lovable, Firebase Studio, Bolt and many more and felt frustrated. I've seen the comments on other videos such as, these tools break when it gets real, you can't build a real app in 18 minutes, or it's just a glorified landing page. And you know what? There is some truth in that. These tools aren't magic wands. They don't replace deep engineering or full stack development. But here's the thing. They're not supposed to. What Lovable, Bold, Firebase and many others do give you something which is very powerful. A way to design and bring your ideas to life visually, fast. It lowers the barriers to entry. It helps you validate, test and actually see your concept without waiting for a dev team or learning 14 new frameworks. So this tutorial isn't about building a VC ready startup in 18 minutes. It's about making something real, usable and exciting. Something that gives you momentum. So instead of searching for one perfect tool, embrace a mindset of exploration and growth. Experiment with different platforms, pick up new skills and find what works best for you.